Well, looks like this is going to be the year we're finally going to be doing this. And then probably after a few years, this. But for me personally, I'll be doing this. Honestly, it hasn't even been a week since my last bad PS Vita news. This is getting crazy. Greetings, fellow Vita fans. This is James with PS Vita at 2 a.m. Coming at you once again with not so exciting news once more. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. <sighs> and as you probably can all no doubt tell from the title and thumbnail, we've got more bad PS Vita news for this month. Yay. Seems like this might end up being some sort of weird world record. And be sure to let me know what you think about this news down in the comment section because I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, guys. All right, let's get on to it. This article comes from thegamer.com. I used to love this website. Now look what it's doing to us. And they had this to report. The PS3, Vita, and PSP stores to be permanently closed in a few months. Yes, you heard that right. Permanently closed. As in, like, forever. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be the definition. Yeah, I always knew this day was gonna come, but you're never truly ready for it. Here's what the article contains. The PS3, PS Vita, and PlayStation Portable stores aren't long for this world. According to a source familiar with the situation verified by the gamer, the stores are due to be closed down from July. The announcement is planned for the end of this month. PSP and PS3 stores are to be closed on July 2nd, while the PS Vita store will stay open until August 27th. Oh. That makes things a lot better. But it really doesn't. After those dates, you will no longer be able to purchase digital copies of games or DLC for any of the Sony consoles mentioned above. PS3 released in November of 2006 and sold a total of 87 million units during its lifetime. The console officially ended production four years ago after 11 successful years on the market and three model redesigns. Man, can this article possibly make us any more nostalgic? PSP enjoy similar success, selling around 81 million units since its release in March of 2005. Notoriously, the PS Vita was a bit of a flop because it wouldn't be official PS Vita news if someone didn't feel the need to have to bring that up. Sony's second handheld released in December of 2011 and sold between 10 to 15 million units across its lifetime. Despite being an excellent little machine, the handheld recently saw some resurgence, not sure why it was so hard for me to say that word, in popularity thanks to how easy it is to turn it into a portable emulator. If you own any of these three consoles and you've always wanted to download a specific game, now is the time. No doubt the price of physical games will jump as well once the store ceases to exist. The success of the Nintendo Switch proves that there's a market for portable consoles these days, so perhaps one day we'll see Sony have another shot at a handheld. We might get a Doom game where you talk to the monsters first, but you never know. Not 100% sure why they had to throw that in there at the end, but uh, okay. Be that as it may, aside from that sort of questionable way of ending the article, so Tony, please listen to these people. All right, now let's discuss. If you were to ask me personally how I feel about this news, I'm sort of a little on the fence with it. Part of me wants to believe it, and a part of me doesn't want to believe it. I mean, obviously. However, as much as I hate to admit this, guys, I think a little bit of me is leaning more towards the fact that this is in fact true. And the reason why I think this is because the timing of it all. I mean, heck, like I mentioned earlier, it hasn't even been two weeks yet since my previous bad news video where I talked about the fact that physical media for the PS Vita has officially been confirmed to be ending in the year 2021. And now all of a sudden we get this news? Yeah, the timing seems to kind of match on it. Not to mention too that the fact that The Gamer is a pretty reputable website. I'm not saying they're 100% perfect, but normally their news articles are mostly on point, so that's another reason for me to believe this. And if it is in fact true, this is the sad part, that means that the PS Vita will officially be ending in the year 2021. As in like, entirely pretty pretty much, aside from homebrew. No more physical media, no more digital media. So I would like to say that if there are some games out there that are digital only releases that you still haven't had a chance to pick up yet, you might want to do so sooner rather than later, because after August, the only way you're going to be able to acquire any of these games is if you hack your PS Vita, or potentially rob a bank. That would be another method, I'm sure. Not that I'm endorsing that or anything. And for any physical collectors out there, such as myself, or people who just love physical media in general, you might want to start picking up some physical PS Vita 
games because this is going to be affecting us as well. Yup, even the likes of Wii are not safe from Sony's wrath. With there being no more digital releases, a lot of people out there are going to want to be shooting for the physical stuff, especially if they're not into hacking their Vita. Now despite all of this negative stuff, we do have one silver lining to this news. I mean, if you can call it a silver lining at this point. I mean, hey, we're desperate here. Might as well take what we can get. But Sony themselves have yet to come out and officially announce this news as being fact. And according to the recent article I just read, supposedly they're going to be coming out sometime at the end of this month in March to announce this. So by the end of the month, I guess if we reach into April, by that point we'll officially know whether this was true or not. It kind of makes me wonder too because uh, April 1st is just around the corner so I'm hoping this isn't some sort of cruel April Fool's gag. And if this is in fact an April Fool's gag, whoever came up with it, <laughs> you are truly, truly evil. And if this does in fact end up being true, then it seems to have caught many developers by surprise as you can see from this Twitter post here, so guess we'll have to see what happens. Thus, you might not want to rob a bank just yet. But regardless of what it ends up being, for now we have to categorize this strictly in the territory of a rumor. Kinda makes me wonder too at this point if we're ever gonna see another firmware update. Looks like at this moment in time that's probably not gonna happen anymore. I know it's not much of a silver lining here, but uh, hey, it's all we got. Of course, this is just one man's opinion, and I would love to hear your opinion, guys. What do you think about this news? Do you think it's gonna end up being true? Do you think the timing kinda works on it the way I'm leaning towards, or do you think that this is 100% a rumor because hey, we are kinda close to April 1st. And when I say rumor, I mean it being a false rumor. That's the thing, right? Stop being evil, whoever's out there being evil. If in fact you are being evil. So please let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Gutter Drums, Hemdal Imbert, Wendy K, David Ray, Phantom XRS, Saul Ramirez, Kyle Brooks, JR, Erock, Per Sterner, Adam Thury, Skullshire Tugel TCG, BMF, Clayton Merlarkey, Joshua Williams, Jared Hado, Kevin Enright, Heston Joseph, Aaron Swanson, Rodrigo Vera, Hero Acer, Adam Sondi, PS Vita S, Richard Cruz, Lori Sweeney, Jelle, H Hitter, Larry Anderson, Smug Wolf, Jesus Hernandez, Kayonko, Sakib Alam, Cobble Trappa, Burz and Mystery, Jamie, Matt Hargett, Dr. Super Artie, Romp King, Mazgus, Tasha Monti, Donut Valley, Jackie, Eric DeWitt, Juan M. Hermesio, Azumara, Frieden, Matt Fox, B Mystery, Zecrito, Robert Johnson, Makise Blob, Pablo Tonentino Mejia, Reiko Star, Joseph Razmik, Nira Rashi, Shin Snake, Milk Sama, Bushin Ryu Cat, and Ellen E. Wazuk. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. Likes and shares can help equally as much. And Sony, please, don't do it. No, don't go in there. Don't go down this dark path. Thank <laughs> you.